Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe. And uh, hopefully everybody is doing great. I know the holidays are coming up. Thanksgiving is around the corner. It's about four days away. What are we at? Today is the 21st. So we're almost there, right? And uh, it's, uh, it's a holiday to give thanks, right? And to mainly spend time with your family and uh, enjoy some time off. Have a lot of food and turkey and ham. And, you know, if you're Mexican, you're gonna, probably going to have carne asada and menudo and pozole and tamales, you know, because we Mexicans don't, uh, you know, it's uh, Thanksgiving and then we show up with a bowl of pozole, you know, like a big olla, which is a big pot of pozole. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. You you have like the celebrations and somebody always shows up with tamales, you know. So if you're Mexican, enjoy your tamales and your pozole and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, because that's kind of what we do. So, um <laughs> So, anywho, so I'm going to share a little bit about what happened to me. This episode's going to be mainly about a little bit of, uh, let's say Monday motivation. We're going to call it Tuesday motivation because this is being recorded on a Monday and I'm not going to put it up till tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And this episode is for you to not give up on something that you're trying to get to, on, on a goal, on something that you're trying to accomplish. And um, so... About a month ago, I decided to apply for a position at work, an internal position. It was for a project manager. I am currently a mechanic. I've been a mechanic. Uh, that's my career, right? My whole life and adult life since I graduated high school. And But I have a lot of experience in management and uh, service advisor and you name it, right? Different, different areas of the same field. When I started at this position, I was a PSSR. So it's a product support or product senior service support, whatever the heck it is, product service, product senior support, PSSR, product service senior support representative. Let's see, product senior support representative. That's it. It's got to be it, guys. So I was a PSSR. The company wasn't doing too good in some of the things. And they were kind of doing some changes, right? They were doing different kinds of changes internally. Um, I'm not going to say they weren't doing too good. It was just changes internally. Different you know, people were getting switched around and presidents and this and that. So they asked me if I could. Uh, this was during before COVID, right? Because actually, when COVID was just starting, they asked me if I want to go go back down to the floor and, and help out in the shop. I have in my whole career is mechanical, right? I'm a mechanic. So I said, sure, you know, and they're like, you can reapply when, when we have, when everything settles and then we have those new positions up and uh, you can have your chance to reapply since you kind of already were, uh, you already worked at, uh, in, in that kind of, in, in the service department. So I said, uh, okay. And I went down to the floor and I've been on the floor for about three years. And after all this stuff has settled, there's been a new president, new vice president, new this, new that, lots of changes, right? There's positionings opening up. So I decided to apply for a position, this project manager position. It's a very high level position, right? And uh, I'm like, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot because this is where I want to be. You're never going to know if you're ever going to make it unless you try it, right? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to try it for to better my life, my family, and everything, right? Because my goal is to retire when I'm about 55 years old. I don't want to work till I'm 69 and 74, and I want to retire young so I can put my own business and have everything paid. And uh, because you get to a certain age, and you kind of you kind of lose the hunger, right? And right now I'm hungry, right? I'm young, and there's a lot of us just like that. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm I'm in my prime. I want to make money. I'm, I'm, I pick up everything. I learn everything. I'm like a sponge still. And uh, I want I want to do it now. I don't want to wait till I'm 60 when 
I don't have that motivation anymore, right? We get older, we get slower, we don't learn things as fast, uh, things don't record, uh, we, we forget about a lot of stuff, and I feel like that's, you know, I wouldn't do so good at it. So I said, you know, I'm going to go for it. I applied for it. Since it's a high-level position, there was a president, vice president, vice president of sales, general manager, HR, and all this stuff, right? Everybody in one room, in a conference room. I never had an interview that big. So I had my interview, and I, I thought I did well. I left the interview, and uh, I, I said to myself, 90% of me tells me that I'm not going to get the job. 10% says I am. The reason why is because there's going to be somebody with experience that actually does that, that has that position somewhere else that's looking for a change to a different company and that they've been doing it for 15 years. And I'm like, that's the only way that, uh, that I'm not going to get that position because if there's everybody else that's kind of just starting out and they're, they have a few years, then I have a really good chance. But I figured with a position like that, that kind of pay, I mean, it's high pay, high stress, high risk, lots of travel. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hard position. And I'm like, so you don't know who's going to apply, right? So I'm like, but if somebody applies that has a lot of experience on just this specific position, then I'm probably not going to get the job. HR called me today and they, they told me, hey, you know what? You just, uh, we, there was between you and another guy and we decided to go with the other guy based on just experience. That's all. And we encourage you to keep looking for more positions when they pop up and blah, blah, blah and all this stuff. And I said, absolutely. You know, I understand at that moment is when a lot of people break loose. And at, at that moment is when a lot of people break down. Their life is over. I can't believe I didn't get the position. I can't believe I didn't do well. It's over. Those, those people are, you know, bullshit. And I can't believe they, over, they overlooked me again. Blah, blah, blah. And that's when people start breaking down. That is not the time to break down. That is the time to realize that you, you made it up to the last two, right? That you... You interviewed well. That uh, it, it's it's a learning experience, something that you can grab onto and learn from it, right? I've learned I learned a lot from that experience. Not only going up to an interview with all these people, the president of the company. I mean, in my company where I work, it's not a little company; it's a huge company. It's a it's a corporation, right? That's that owns this place. So it's not a it's not like it's some mom and pop shop, right? This is a big time, and all these big timers are in there, right? There's all these executives. So I learned a lot. I got to kind of know kind of know them, and you know why they ask the type of questions they ask, and it's it's a learning experience. Maybe one day I'm gonna be sitting in the other side of the chair, and I'm gonna be asking those questions, and I'm gonna remember how I felt when I was sitting down in the chair, and all those things, and I can maybe put myself in their shoes, right? So. I, you take a lot from this kind of stuff, right? This is not a failure. This is a win for me because now they know that I'm not just a mechanic, that I have more abilities and things that I can bring to the table that can help the company succeed. And that's the way I looked at it. So now whenever they, they walk around the shop and they go, hey, that's, there's, there's Joe, that guy is different. Whenever there's a position available, they're probably going to think about me which is what I wanted, right? I just wanted to get them to understand what I was trying to do and for them to get to know me and what my goals were. And I think I did pretty good. So all that is just about learning and how you take it, right? So I see everything positive, and this to me was very positive. I am not down. I'm not disappointed. Would I love to get the job? Of course. Who wouldn't, right? You're applying for the job that you want. That you that you're that you're that's your goal, and uh, sometimes it doesn't happen. But that doesn't mean that you have to stop there. That just means that you have to work a little bit harder and just keep moving forward, right? Put your head down and just bulldoze through everything on the way, and reapply again later on, or find another position that is a little bit lower so you get your feet wet, and then move up to that other position. So it's all about learning, right? It's all about the learning experience. I know that there is a time where where you have to be realistic, right? I can't just go, I'm going to be a professional tennis player tomorrow. I'm going to try to work out every day and be a professional football player because that's not realistic. I am way past uh, those years and uh, my body is probably not capable of doing that. And no matter how hard you try, I'm not going to get there, right? Because that's I don't fit the bill. I'm not, 
you know, I'm not a certain size. I'm not fast enough. I'm 40. I am, you know, I'm not tall enough. So all those things. So I know that I can't do those things. So you have to be realistic with yourself and, and take a good look at yourself. And for instance, what I do is I grab a piece of paper. So this is, this is a, I know this podcast is, is, this is more of like motivation, right? So you don't quit. So I grab a piece of paper and I put my qualities and my abilities, my skills and all that. And I, on the other side, I put what I'm not good at, what I, what I lack of, what I need, what I need, need more training, whatever it is, right? And I understand what I can apply for realistically. And for instance, this position, I was like, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. I just got to work hard, learn everything, pay attention, keep my mouth shut and keep going. And that is what you have to do. That's what we have to do, right? It's just keep working, keep striving for what you want. And, uh, you know, it's a challenge, right? Nobody's going to give you this. It's not going to be easy. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Life is hard. You know, life is life is difficult, especially when you're trying to move up and get positions like that. It doesn't... Uh, you maybe you never know maybe i'll never get a position like that maybe i'll never get another opportunity but it doesn't mean that i can't try it doesn't mean that i have to stop learning like i said some people that's that's the wall they hit and that's it they don't go anywhere else they are stuck right there and they throw everything away and i'm just going to do this because i'm just not ever going to make it and they stop but if you're realistic you go you know what i'm at the right age i still have a lot of time i just got to keep pushing and i got to keep learning and then reapply again and just and just keep going, right? And there's a lot of people that are in their 60s and they're disgruntled and upset and oh well I you know I could have been a manager and but they stopped. They never kept trying. They never tried hard enough to get there. You have to work hard. You have to grind it in order to get there. It's a grind. Life is a grind. If not every that even if you play basketball or hockey or you're a teacher, whatever, if you want to be the best at it. It's a grind. It's a grind. You just have to find that motivation inside you to keep going. Some people don't have it. Some people struggle a little bit with it and that's that's okay. But, you know, I'm self-motivated. I, I want to be the best at everything. I want to keep striving for the best. I have a big sh- uh, chip on my shoulder. You know, I wasn't born in this country. So for me, my life was to, supposed to be to live in Mexico and to just work, you know, day to day and get paid very little money and that's kind of the life right that's you know you're you're very limited on what you can do but thanks to my parents you know they brought us to 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 the united states i got i I received an opportunity and i'm not gonna throw that opportunity because i could be in a different place right now and i grab that opportunity and i run with it so that's my motivation that i use i am always the underdog no matter what because of you know because i am i wasn't born here I don't, uh, my grammar's not so great. It's decent. I don't, uh, when I when I speak, sometimes the words come out a little different. You know, this is, I had to learn English on the go. You know, I didn't know any English when I came to the United States. So I had to learn English. So it's, my words sometimes don't come out right. If you guys uh, listen to the podcast, sometimes I kind of don't say the words correctly. But that's just, you know, that's just the way it is, right? That's just the way it is. But I had to I had to learn it because I I had to I wanted the opportunity because I was already in this country and I was I was gonna get that opportunity and grab it and just and, and don't let go, right? No matter what I was gonna do, I was gonna try to be the best at it. So that's a little bit of uh, you know, motivation. Like I said, that's if you have a chip on your shoulder and you you know it's it, it pushes you to be the best, right? Like I said, not everybody is is uh, self-motivated. Some people need a little bit of motivation. And that's why I do these kinds of podcasts is sometimes you need regular people like myself to say, hey, I failed too. And look, I didn't get the position, but man, let's not give up. Let's keep trying. Maybe there's a different position. Look at your qualities and your abilities. And maybe you can do something with that. And maybe that position is a little bit better for you. It fits who you are. And you can just grab onto that and be better at it instead of going to something that you're, you know you're going to fail right? You know you're going to fail at this. And people are like, well, you never know if you don't try it. You know if you're capable of doing something. You know if, hey, I, I know I can do this. I have, I have experience. I have the ability. I can do this. You know it inside you. But sometimes people are not realistic. They think like, oh, it's a dream. I'm going to go after it. And you fail and you crash hard, right? You crash really hard. And that's when people give up. 
So you always have to look for, you know, you have to be realistic when it comes to these kinds of things. It's like, what can I do and what can I, what can't I do? That being said, hopefully this episode resonates and hopefully it it uh, shoots through a lot of people, right? Because I'm just a normal person and I go through a lots of ups and downs and a lots of failures and all through my life. And like I said, I you know I wasn't even born here, so I had to basically change culture, change everything, change you know and and and, and adapt, right? Learn the language. And uh, and it's a different lifestyle here. I know how it is to live in a different country. It's hard. You know, I used to see my parents. I see my uncles and aunts and everybody. It's a struggle every day in a different country. This country provides you the opportunity to be great. It's just up to you if you want to grab that opportunity and take it. So, you know, hopefully this helps, guys. Uh, you guys can listen to this anywhere where you can listen to podcasts. I am pushing really hard for my YouTube. I post shorts there, and these episodes go up there too. Go to my YouTube and, and help me out. Subscribe. On, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to really push that channel. And uh, so if you guys have any questions, Twitter, Instagram, all that, I'm there. Just type in Bold Talk by Joe, and um, you, you guys will be able to find me. Also, I want to... Um, I want to let you guys know about uh, my buddy's business. So he has a coffee business called Jittery Dog Coffee, and uh, he's a local roaster here in Arizona. It's a uh, it's a family owned business. This guy is also striving, right? Also striving for more, trying to get to where he wants to be, where he needs to be, and uh, it's hard work. So whatever I can do to help people, I'm always willing to. And uh, you guys can always go down, go to www.jitterydogcoffee.com. Check them out. I still don't have any codes that you can put on there to get discounts. We're working on that. So I can offer it to you guys. But you guys can always go on there and check them out. The coffee is excellent. It's amazing. And uh, like I said, you'll get it fresh. That stuff is fresh right off the roaster as soon as you order it. He makes small batches and he sends them out. So uh, lots of hard work, but, uh, you know, show some support, guys. So until next time, peace.